by and large, is what the news brand is. And our people from Shane on down to the other hosts are, you know, not your big primetime newscasters. They're not there going, I've got it all, I know everything, I'm the voice of God. There's a dilettante-ishness to how they present. They don't pretend to be experts on the whole world. They go with curiosity, and I think that's what's been working, is that you follow Shane to Greenland to see how the ice sheets are melting, not because he's some blowhard that is you know, um, out there blogging about climate change all the time. You go because he's like scratching his head and saying, I've got two kids. I think the, the science is overwhelming here. Let me go see for myself what the hell's happening. And oh shit, oh my God, look, things are, are really bad. So that's a big part of our success. And that's what they're looking for is that access point. That's a good segue into my next question, which is what do you think the Brian Williams situation? You know, um, it's just really pathetic and sad. And um, I've been in war zones, and you know, all of the vice reporters have. And it would have been just as credible and interesting a story if he said I was part of a chopper convoy or whatever, and the one in front of me got hit. Uh, we were okay, but oh my God, war is terrible, and this is these people endure incredible hardships and risk their lives every day. Instead, he had to insinuate himself into a, you know, a, a chopper he wasn't in. And it's really just sad. But what? You know, why, why, he, why he would do that? Right, but, but this, is, this is maybe part of a large discussion, which is as the news division at a network like NBC, mm -hmm. which is owned by a cable provider, which owns a movie studio, which makes content that needs to be brand friendly, it's sexier if the if the anchor, the most trusted man in America, is a war hero, right? Yeah, but I don't think that they got much mileage out of that. I think it only, you know, I think it was. It's only a negative. I don't think he. Well, clearly it wasn't by design. I mean, it wasn't the idea. He didn't set out. I mean, he, one one can't imagine that he set out to tell a lie he would likely get caught in. I guess I'm asking a bigger question, which is, you know, we live in a world now. I'm fond of saying where not getting caught in a lie is the same as telling the truth, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And in fact, um, you know, we have lots of examples where public figures have said things, denied things, that in the past they never could have been busted on, but right. in a really connected world, they get busted on instantly. Right. Um, Vice has, WME is an investor. Mm -hmm. Correct me if he's wrong, right? Yeah. Warner Brothers is an investor. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> tell us. Tell us who the other big media investors. Are. Um. So WPP. WPP, which is um, an ad, which is an ad conglomerate, the, yep. large, the largest ad conglomerate in the world. Yeah, they control much of the world's global advertising spend. Uh, right. So they're an investor in Vice, and their clients are also buying, buying services and, and, and media and from, content from us. Definitely. Not enough, maybe. <laughs> maybe we need more. Um, uh, Fidelity Investments is a is a um, minor shareholder. Um, Fox, 21st Century Fox, is a shareholder. Um, and now Disney Hearst via the a and &E, via Going Technology Crossover Ventures. Uh, and then the rest is management. Management owns the lion's yeah. So all of those other um, partners. Just a bunch of punk billionaires. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, the other partners maybe come close to 30% ownership. But, um, but yeah, it's like, it's a complicated board, but the board has um, really let Vice um, emerge as a, you know a, a credible content brand. And it's only been supportive, I've never been pressured. And I can't really imagine a world in which the NBC ecosystem would benefit from a sexy Brian Williams having been shot down. I think that was just, I think it's just complete insanity and it makes no sense. And but we, it's really we, sad. I, it's, it's sad that it took days to figure out that he should take a leave of absence for six months. And if we had to, if we had probably had to identify a word, or we had to put a word to the room to vote on as a word that gets tossed about more often than any other, uh, especially.